Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of making a finger joint box. In the previous video, I made four copies. Let's delete those two. We do not need them. I'm going to change this one because I'm calling it the male one. And this is going to be the female one. Even though they both have male, this has more predominant uh, males uh, than the other one to me looking wide. So to make them tighter, I'm going to set my nudge distance now on 0 0.0. I'm going to go 1. That's pretty big and it's going to be pretty tight. And at the end of the video, video I'll actually show you how to test it without cutting, uh, using too much wood. So my nudge distance is set real low. Let's zoom in here. And let's grab our shape tool. And let's click on the box. Let's grab these four nodes and edge them up one time. Let's grab these four nodes and edge them down one time. Down. Let's go up, down, up, down. What I'm doing, I'm making the males a little thicker. But I have not changed the outside of the box. And that's all it took. Now let's look at the our joint. Let me zoom in here. Let's do this. Let's get it. Let's snap to that corner and you can see there's quite a bit of space between the joints your laser is going to burn away that space so then what you do once you've got them all done is just make another four of these control d make a duplicate and run these but what i would suggest before you cut them would be to cut two of them out and just see how the joint fits now you can even go further than that. These are the two offsets. Let's control D and make a duplicate of them. Do not delete these, but get them off your laser bed page. Put them up here. Well, matter of fact, we'll put these up here. So these are our two that we adjusted. We made the manual. And if you want to save a little bit of wood, you can always take a two-point line and whoop, Corel does that every once in a while. If you start, if you hold down the control button before you start moving, it will do that. Then just take your virtual segment delete key and delete this outside. You don't have to do anything with it. You could smart fill it, which I would do if it was me. Smart fill both those. Smart fill to me has never changed the size. Then select them all and left click no fill and it's the hairline and then just delete these. And then take this to your laser and with, uh, with just a two inch by less than an inch and a half piece of wood. I don't care if you use auger or plywood. Test that cut. And if that works, bring those four back in. Remember we changed these two. We changed this one and this one before we made our copies. And there I'm a little bit confused. It might be these two we changed. Well, it is these two because these are the two I put together. Then, so I had too many blocks on the page. I apologize for that. So stay tuned if that works for you. Maybe practice doing that. And in the next video, in the next day or so, I'll show you how to design the top and the bottom, which is a little more tricky. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.